In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to roast a turkey. Keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see reviews on products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe. Because I do videos about those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and tap the little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But definitely check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'm going to share my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's roast a turkey. I am hosting Thanksgiving dinner and of course the main attraction is the turkey. And I'm actually doing this in collaboration with my sister Nikki at Live, Laugh, Love and Pray. She actually put the turkey into brine and she had it in the brine for 36 hours and now I'm going to take it out, wash it off, and then I'm going to put it in the oven to roast. So let's get it started. Here's the turkey still in the brine and as you can see it is filled with lemons and oranges and apples and that kind of thing. So I'm going to get it over here into the sink and then wash all that off and then put it in the roaster. And you can't use this fruit because it's been sitting overnight. So all of this has to be discarded. And you may be thinking, what a waste, but it adds such a nice flavor to the turkey. And if you want to see how she brined it, I'll link her video below and in an iCard above so you can check that out. Now I'm going to rinse it off and then I'll put it in the roasting pan. We'll rinse this bad boy inside and out. Now I'm going to put it in the roasting pan temporarily. Now I'm going to take a spice mixture of salt and pepper and rub it inside the turkey and out. But definitely want to make sure I get it all on the cavity of the turkey. Just rub that all around. And then all over the turkey itself. So I'm going to quarter these apples. Cut the lemons into quarters as well. I'm 
And these are going into the belly, the cavity of the turkey. And then this carrot is going to go into the bottom of the roasting pan. Just to add a little flavor to the broth. Because that broth is what you use to juice up your gravy. And I will cut this orange into quarters as well. This is going to go in the cavity of the turkey. And then I also have some large orange slices, which will just be on the bottom of the pan. So let's lift this bad boy up. And I'm just going to drop these orange slices. Oh, and I didn't cut the celery yet. Again, just a big rough cut. because I'm just dropping it in the bottom of the pan and then the turkey is just going to sit on that bed of onions and celery. And then this fruit is going to go into the belly of the turkey to give it flavor. So I really stuff it as full as I can with this fruit. I don't put stuffing in the turkey anymore because of the chances of salmonella and that kind of thing. And then these carrots too just go on the bottom. So now the turkey is resting on a bed of carrots, onions, and celery. And then I rubbed it down with a combination of lemon and pepper seasoning, salt and pepper. Also rubbed the insides with salt and pepper, lemon and pepper seasoning, stuffed it with the fruit. And I'm going to add a quart of water to the bottom of the roaster. Now, why do I do that? Well, first of all, it increases the broth. And the other thing is that it kind of bathes the turkey in like a steam bath. So, so now the turkey's gonna sit here for a second while I prepare the solution that I'm going to baste it in. So I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna put a quarter cup of butter in this pan so that I can saute my onions and kind of melt the flavors of some of my spices. So a quarter cup of butter, one quarter cup of chopped onion, one tablespoon of dried thyme leaves, one quarter cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of lemon and pepper seasoning, and a dash of crushed red pepper. Maybe two dashes, but not too much, otherwise it ends up hot and you don't want it too spicy. And three cloves of chopped garlic. It's smelling quite flavorful. The aroma's great. So now that these have started to saute just a bit, I'm going to add a cup of water. And one chicken bouillon cube. You can also add a cup of chicken broth. Now we'll just let this cook. And this is what I will base the top of the turkey with. And so it'll just kind of simmer just for a while, all while the turkey's roasting.
So now I'm just going to make a couple little slices here in the breast. And I'm going to stick a little bit of butter down inside there. Just punch it in there. Then we're going to just dab some of this spice mixture on the top of the turkey. And one of the reasons why we keep this simmering on top of the stove so that it stays heated is because we are putting this brush that's been on this raw turkey back in the pot. So I'll set it back over there so it continues to simmer. And then we just bathe the top of the turkey with a little honey. Gives it a nice little glaze. Just tiny. And I'll put the roasting lid on top. And now let's put it in the oven. And we'll let it cook for about three hours. And for the first hour, I'll probably baste it with this solution about every 15 minutes. And then I'll just close the oven up and then just let it do its thing. And I'll do that about every 15 minutes for the first step. And here is my turkey. It's quite brown. When you put the honey on it, the honey does brown it. And also when you put the lid on top of it, that also browns it quite a bit. Now here's my question for you. What part of this whole turkey roasting process did you find most interesting or challenging? Tell me in the comment section below. And let me take this opportunity one more time to thank Max or Mickey at Live, Laugh, Love, and Pray for collaborating with me on roasting a turkey. If you have not visited her channel, please do so. She's got some very interesting videos over there. And she brined the turkey, and you will want to see how she did that. And you've seen the results for the roasting of the turkey here. So just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.